call this meeting to order of the special meeting of the City Commission of Rio Grande City. It's Monday, July 25th, 2016, approximately 6.04 p.m. here in Commission Chambers, Rio Grande City, Texas, 5332 East U.S. Highway 83, uh, Suite 8. This time, uh, we can have the invocation followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. You have Commissioner Garza with the invocation, followed by Commissioner Ramirez with the Pledge of Allegiance. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you uh, assist us in uh, conducting business for Rio Grande. We ask that uh, that you bless us and uh, bless our families, our employees here in Rio Grande. We ask, dear Lord, that you bring us a little bit of rain, and we ask that uh, you continue blessing Rio Grande. We ask that you take care of our police officers with all this chaos that's going on. And we ask that uh, you bless our soldiers in our way. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you. Mayor Villarreal. Present. Mayor Fortin Garza. Here. Commissioner Salinas is absent. Commissioner Ramirez. Here. Commissioner Jones. Here. You have a quorum, sir. Thank you. Next, uh, our first business of order, or second business of order, can't even speak. Uh, item three, discussion and possible action to rescind resolution number 2016-16. Acquiring a 2017 Freightliner M2106 truck chassis with a uh, what is it Peterson TO3 brush loader to be purchased and financed through based on government finance for a term of four years for a four annual or four annual payments. Ms. Reyes. Mayor and Commissioners, this item came up at the last meeting. We were looking at equipment to assist the uh -huh. employees as they pick up brush. This would make it more effective and more efficient. In the course of that time where you all took action to approve this uh, resolution to purchase this Freightliner, we came across information of something that was more readily acceptable. According to the presentation, the equipment would not be ready until October uh, of this year, mid-October. Um, we move forward to find out about this new vehicle, or not a new vehicle, but this other option. and. Um, we had our public works director, our sanitation director, and our planning director go and, and visit uh, this other piece of equipment. Um, if it is in order, and I asked this to our, to our city attorney, uh, Ms. Jackie Salinas, if we could move on to one of the item number four so we can discuss the, the new equipment before um, we take action on the first it, one. It's up to mayor, whatever mayor would like to proceed with. Meeting to first uh, move to item four to discuss and then come back to item three. Is that correct, Mayor? You're the presiding the officer. Protocol? Without yes. taking action on number four until okay. if it was to take action on number four, you would have to do action on number three first. Okay. But so I guess just for discussion. It's just for discussion. For, it would only be for discussion, so I could move on to discuss the other. Okay. So at this time, if, uh, if no one objects, we can move over to item four for discussion purposes. Okay, on item number four, Mayor Commissioners, this was the other piece of equipment that was being considered, and for the sole purposes that it was really available, um, I do have Mr. Milan, Mr. Guerra, and Mr. Sainz who, who went up there. They are both reputable companies, they are both two uh, good equipment. Um, I think one of the primary differences would be in the controls measures where the Freightliner has the joysticks to control it, and of course the um, Peterbilt has a panel. I would like to have Mr. Milan explain on the panel, and of course Mr. Science and Mr. Guerra are here to answer any questions on this equipment that was viewed on last Friday. Um, Mr. Milan. Yes, 
Correct. Uh, we went to visit uh, Peterbilt and Rush, uh, Peterbilt and Park, Texas. And we did notice the Peterbilt, he had, uh, he had a rather complex equipment, several uh, ways, handles to uh, pick up brush, obviously more valves to operate. Uh, Peterbilt, uh, it's got a good reputation, uh, good resale value according to uh, the inquiries. Uh, the equipment, like I said, it was readily available. Uh, we need it available, I said, if we move, we can have it by... Tomorrow. By tomorrow, if we move, <coughs> it, whenever we are make a rain. Correct. Okay. Uh, they both, Peterbilt and Freightliners propose, uh, they both have the TL3 lighting loader. However, the uh, Freightliner, the difference is it's got only two joysticks. I mean, less to uh, operate. The more sophisticated uh, piece of equipment. Is it is it this is it this vehicle that's here in the in the uh, handout? Yes, no, uh, Commissioner. That uh, additional handout is from from Friday to today. The company that was originally approved uh, were to purchase a, the Freightliner truck mentioned that they had a cancellation in an order and that they had a truck now ready to be delivered. We did not have, we now don't have to wait until October. Plus they also threw in the wrapping for uh, anything that we want to advertise on the truck. So that's Is that it. the one with the joysticks or? Yes, yes that's, that comes with uh, the uh, signage wrapping they call it. And what about the capacity for the, uh, for the box? Okay. Is They're it the same as the, the same, one in They both have the same capacity, the same size of engine. Peterbilt has a Packer 280 horsepower. The uh, Freightliner has got a Cummins 280 horsepower. They're both 660 uh, uh, pounds per feet uh, torque. Exactly the same power and the same uh, uh, loader equipment. And as far as the finances, may have more team. The financing is, is basically the same. If you all remember, you all approved an additional 1500 for the warranty, the added warranty. warranty. Um, so, so the interest rate I mean, yeah. is the same. The, the financing is, it would be the okay. same. It's, um, it was the, the availability that it was ready, but. But now the other one is. Now, now the other one, they had a cancellation on one of their orders, so they say that it is ready. It you do have, available. of course, yeah, Mr. Sainz and Mr. Guerra for any additional questions. Okay. Um, of course, they each have individual preferences. Uh, we do feel that something that is similar to what the employees already work with, which is the backhoe with the joysticks, is something that they could uh, uh, get a hold of and, and train easily. Um, also, if you have a panel uh, of control panels, it could be subject to maybe some electronic malfunction or something. Uh, I would imagine that the maintenance is uh, low, lower than the other month. <coughs> but anyway. So if I see this correctly, we have a 2016 model, which is a Peterbilt. The other one's a 2017 model. Correct. Right? Is that the but as far as everything else, horsepower is the same. The difference is just the, the joysticks in a sense. One has more. All right. It's the control, control, more, functions. Uh, control functions, features. Freightliner is, is the easier to operate. Okay. Oh, yeah. Is the the warranty on the Freightliner is two years on the Freightliner. On, on the truck and stuff. Chassis? It's two years. Yeah, the chassis. It's two years. And I believe on the Peterbilt, it's one year. So, if I, and again, going back to make sure that I understand this correctly, at this point, they're both available. Yes, sir. They weren't what the, at the beginning, I guess, when we initiated this. That's correct. They were not available. They are available now. Yes, it's sir. just a matter of whatever, whichever one we decide will be here within this week. The only difference, <clears throat> of course, is the controls and the right. wrapping. And the wrapping, which now Freightliner threw in the wrapping. Well, they they <coughs> mentioned it at, the from the very beginning. The initial start. If they, 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 they purchase the truck, right? Mm -hmm. If they purchase the truck, they would throw the wrapping fee just for the advertising on on the commission for the city because they haven't uh, on this side of uh, the valley. Nobody has you know that kind of uh, wrapping and stuff like this, and it's just the uh, advertising the commission for the residents. You know to know that they commission okay. bought this for the residents. 
So then, any other questions? Who? Any other questions before you can move on? To, so we can uh, move on. Any other things that we need to? Again, the engines are the same horsepower, same torque, and the loader is the same. It's just the bottom capacity. line is the main yeah. right function, liner. the control function. So the Peter built is the one with the box, black. Right? Mm -hmm. they, they don't, both are all white, sir. All, all white. Both are all white. Okay. And, all right. and at that time we were considering this, these things were not, we didn't know that one of them was not going to be versus. All right, so what is the staff at the end? What's the staff? What's well, the, the, only, the only thing there, I said, Calvin, I know it all over the band, all cities have the other type of different handles. It's got about six different to move to the sites for the control. That's the only thing I know about uh, all, all, most of the battery has the type of bills, but it's going to be a pretty interesting for the city. So okay. And uh, Mr. Science? Who, who's who's going to be operating this equipment? Uh, hopefully it'll be one of ours in Public Works. Uh, there's a person in Public Works interested in, in operating this. Okay. And he drives... Were they there at the, when you all went over there too? No, sir. No? no sir. Okay. All right, so yeah. if I hear correctly, Mr. Guerra, what was your preference? They'll give you the training, all the training that we need for all the persons. You know, whoever wants to get trained for that particular vehicle. Okay. Same thing. It takes a week, it takes two weeks or whatever. It'll use all the training necessary for that. <coughs> same thing with the training. It's the same company. Oh, actually, so what? Hill provides the equipment to Rush? Yeah. Heil provides the equipment for Kenwood, Freightliner, Peterbilt. International, everything. Yeah, <coughs> As far as the warranties, it's going to be a little bit different. You said one was two years, and the other one, and the other one is one. You all purchased, you all approved an additional. Right, right. And of course, the year one's 2017, the other one 2016. Outside of that, it's. And as far as the 2016, does it, what's the mileage on that one? Is it, is it brand new? No They're brand new. They're brand both brand new. So both of them. All right. Any other information on that? Just, so obviously, uh, I mean, at this point, I guess, what is the recommendation of the staff? Yes. Are y'all looking at this and what's the... I, there, um, obviously we had already approved the Freightliner. Yes and they understood our need to have it readily and then I guess they made good effort in trying to have something for us. I do appreciate the efforts of, of Mr. Guerra and other departments to assist us to have something more re readily available. Um, I do think we need to honor the department head's uh, recommendation, which is Mr. Aviel Sainz. Um, had this been a truck for Public Works, then I would support Mr. Guerra's recommendation. Um, it's something that he's going to have to deal with this immediately, um, and he feels it's more comfortable to have his uh, staff be able to operate it. Uh, if you're asking my recommendation, I will go with our previously approved recommendation, sir. Okay. Anything else, commissioners? Before we move on, let's see. Anything else? Are we ready for a motion or? Well, well you've got to go back well, to item number three. To number three. Okay, so then this time, thank you, gentlemen. Um, at this time, then, if no one objects, we move back to item three. Is that the correct uh, way to say it, Miss? Uh, That's Sabina? correct. All right. No one objects. Let's move back to item three discussion on possible action to rescind resolution number 2016 16. I so move. Okay, so what are we going to do about this? We're going to rescind uh, the. Uh, that's that's no, if you're going to purchase. Yeah, no, so we're going to number 2016 to 16. So really, uh, what we're saying is that we were saying at this point, and in essence, we're going with the, the Peter Bell. Okay, we're going to move in that direction. We're going to. If you if you if you stay with your if you stay with your previously approved item, then there is no action on and item three. There's no action three. on item three if we're going to stay with the original. Bottom line, we need to answer, do we stay with the old, I mean, the previous decision, or do we move on to a 
Do you so, so you have a motion on the floor? Do you uh, want to re you want to recall your motion, or you're going to call for a second? If we're going to go to item number four. If you were going to take action on number four, then you um, you rescind it. If you are not going to approve number four, then you, no. you don't rescind. There's no action on number three. So your recommendation was to... Under the contract. Under the... Yes. Under so three. Three, under three, would, three would be no, no action. Our previous... <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You have to go number three. <laughs> but you have a motion on the floor, so um, you need to re recall it. I will recall my motion. All right, we should have to recall the so motion. So, at this time, correct. I should have a motion. So, it would be no action. No, no action. Okay, so. If there's no motion. So, there's no motion then, commissioners? No. No motion. That's fine. Thank you. All right. So there's no motion on item three then. No action. Sir. No or no action. Uh, then moving on to item four, discussion and possible action to adopt resolution 2016-17 to acquire 2016 Peter Bill 37 truck chassis with a Peterson TO3 brush loader to be purchased and financed through based on government finance for a term of four years for four annual payments. At this time, you cannot have action here because you did not receive. Because we did not. Receive. So it's no action. So then, no action on item four. All right. So no action item three. No action on item four. This next uh, business and orders item five, executive session, chapter five five one, Texas Government Code, section five five one zero seven, uh, which is or item A, discussion and possible action. Consultation with the attorney regarding cause number DC 14182, Jose de la Fuente, Del, del Sol Homes and Del Sol Homes LLC versus Rio Grande City, Texas. 229th District Court of Star County, Texas. It is 6.21 p.m. We we'll launch to executive session. We're back from executive session at 6.35 p.m. And there is uh, no action on item A, executive session. At this time, I have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay, we have a motion to adjourn. Second. We have a second. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. aye opposed? Carries. Meeting adjourned. It is 6.36 p.m.